Borderline Personality Disorder. I'm back, says Mr. BPD. <sighs> Where do I begin? Where do I begin? Well, I guess I shall start with updating everybody on what's been going on with my situation. Previously, I was moments away from being homeless. Well, I'm not homeless currently. There was a, I mean, I will still become homeless, just the time frame has been shifted slightly. I do have a house for sale in the Pacific Northwest if anybody is looking to buy a home fairly cheap. Right now, housing prices where I live are just outrageous. Anyway, other than having a house for sale and only a very short time in which to find a buyer and the fact that there's some kind of plague and pandemic going on, things are great. Not something I would normally say. Normally I'm more about gloom and doom, but... A few things recently have happened, some stresses in my life have gone away, and I'm feeling good at the moment. I'm sure that will end though, it always does, especially when you have BPD. Moments of happiness usually should be, how do I put it? When things start going good, I know that something very, very horrible is about to happen. That's when I get my guard up. Things just generally don't work out or go good for me. Now, who, is that just because I think that way? I believe that things won't work out for me, therefore I make them happen? Or is it that really there's some kind of spiritual being out there that makes sure that my life does not go the way I plan. It could be a yin yang type thing, a balancing of the, you know, good things happen to others, therefore bad things must happen to someone, and I'm that someone. I don't know. If you know the answers to these questions, please let me know in the comments section below. You may have guessed that I really had no idea for this video. It's very spur of the moment. I've had technical issues with equipment lately, plus a lot going on. And I was minding my very, very own business when my roommate came in and told me that I had 15 minutes to film a video, do it now, and then ran off. So this is that video when I'm told to just film a video before someone runs off. He has, his motives are not pure though. I mean, he doesn't want me to make a video to benefit anybody other than himself, I think, because he just wants me to find someone to buy a house at a very reasonable rate. Or at least to find people that want to donate using the link in the description below. Even though right now is the worst time to be asking anybody to donate money or to buy a house with the whole craziness that's going on, people being out of work and the government deciding that $1,200 is enough to pay rent and the damn mongooses. The damn mongooses. 
Wow, we have only been going for five minutes. I'm out of practice, I think. I just... It's been so long since I've done a video. And so much is going on that I just... I'm at a loss of what I should talk about. I, that's been a problem lately. I've been at a loss of what to talk about. I've covered everything related to BPD that I can think of in my previous videos. I've been doing this for, well, a while now. I have a lot of videos. I'm pretty sure that any topic that you may think of that you want to see me do a video on, I've probably already done it. But who wants to go look through all of those videos, right? So here's what I propose. I'm asking all of you, which a creator should never probably do, but screw it. I like to do things unconventionally. What kind of videos would you like to see? What topics would you like me to cover? Like I said, I think I've done them all, but I'm willing to redo them if anybody's interested. Because my well is running dry, so... Maybe if some of you can think of some good stuff, well, I'm sure I can make a good video out of a good idea. I know I can definitely make a bad video out of no ideas. I'm just good like that. Of course, I have no idea what I'm talking about. With that being said, until next time, Keep on keeping on. The fuck was it? Incoherent rambling for 15, not even 57 minutes. Blah.